drink water, stay hydrated. Hey guys, Tika back again, and this time I have a pretty big haul to show you. I did receive my BoxyCharm box, which I did already open because I bought it almost a week ago now. I also got some YouTuber merch that I'm really excited about to show you, and I ordered from Ulta, which was a small order, and I also ordered from Perfectly Posh, which I've done videos about before, and I'm really excited to show you all of the stuff that I got. My face looks really shiny. I got sunburnt yesterday. We were at the pool, and I, I wasn't even swimming, but I'm very burnt right now, so please don't mind that. Um, and I wanted to film this quickly. I'm actually going to lunch with my best friend today and I'm really excited to do that. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants. We're going to Rey Azteca and I love Mexican food, so I'm excited. But yeah, so I wanted to hop on here and do a little haul for you, a collective haul of everything because I've ordered a lot within the last few weeks. Um, I actually have a lot of stuff from Amazon too, but I'm not going to. Well, I guess I could show you some of those things too. Be right back. So I'm not going to show you everything that I got from Amazon because one of the things that I ordered were these tote baskets for Kenzie's closets for her to put like socks and undies and bras and stuff in to keep it nice and organized. So I don't have all of those down here and I'm not real concerned about that. I will attempt to link everything down below. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find everything. Um, maybe for some of them I'll just link the website that you could go to and yeah. So let's just hop right in. I'm going to actually start with my Perfectly Posh stuff over here. I ordered from my best friend Jess who sells it. Coincidentally the same person I'm going to have lunch with today. And um, I love my Perfectly Posh and there were some things that are like my go-to everyday use things that I was running low on. So I'm going to show you those. I forgot one of the things upstairs because it's in the shower that I use every day. That is my BFF um, face wash. It's an exfoliating face wash that is incredible. I use it about every other day. I've gotten better with not exfoliating my face every single day. I still can't get out of the habit of washing my face in the shower because I don't feel clean unless I wash it in the shower. Uh, I got my favorite moisturizer even though she did give me a little bit of what she has left because she personally doesn't like this. This is my favorite moisturizer. I use this probably about 95% of the time. It's the Moisturize 911 and it's caffeinated. I love it. It's incredible. I also have been looking for a specific um, face sunscreen that's like a moisturizer and doesn't give you that weird white sunscreeny look that sunscreen gives you so I was using a Neutrogena one but it gives that white like cakey so I only use that usually for my tattoo now and it's like SPF 70 this block it like it's hot is Posh's version of a face moisturizer sunscreen and it has SPF 30 in it so I use this every day now that I have it I also got this honey hun honey 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 infused body cream I needed a good lotion to put on after I like shave my legs and stuff. Um, it's a good moisturizer and balancer. Corey wanted me to order a bunch of these, but I already still have some, but Posh came out with a new coconut oil, and honestly, if you've never used coconut oil to remove makeup, you are missing out. It is moisturizing to your skin. It removes all the makeup, waterproof, not. We used it at the Haunted House for our airbrush makeup. This one is Absolute Passion Fruit, and it's obviously like a solid right now, but once it warms up, it becomes a liquid, so that means it is pure coconut oil did not know that and then you can never have too many of these healer sticks I probably have about five of them here in different variations they're good for anything I use them on breakouts that I can't stop messing with um, any cuts scrapes anything like that so those things have cocoa butter and shea oil and all of that in them amazing people use it as chapstick too 
but yes I think that's everything I ordered from Posh the next portion I'm going to go through is my Ulta haul now I did take some of the things out of the boxes already because I have used them um, actually my eyeshadow is from this haul and my I used the other things um, I used the toner that I have and I've already used the other thing that why don't I just show you like <laughs> okay so the first thing I'm going to show you is the Tarte knockout tingling treatment I saw this from Alicia Marie Alicia Marie's videos and I was like well I'm trying to find a good toner type thing and like something like this to use in my skin care routine I've been trying to take better with better care of my skin I've used this a few times I'm still kind of undecided on it it's okay on my face it does give a tingly feeling but if I put it down on my neck like it makes me itch and then I scratch and get all red and raw for like two minutes and it's just I'm not real sure if this is something that I'm going to continue to use I also wanted to get some more brushes these are still in the thing but these are BH cosmetics I took them out of the box but these are like the colorful festival ones Corey's like why did you get neon yellow and I'm like well first of all it's neon and second of all they were on sale on Ulta so yes I wanted some more brushes because you can never have too many brushes I said my eyeshadow look came from the Ulta haul and that is my Urban Decay wired palette that I got. I wanted some different colors and I'm always for palettes and there's some like neon colors. I have the fluorescent and the jolt on today. So I like that it has a mirror and all that stuff and it's actually raised. This is like really really pretty packaging. And the last thing from Ulta that I got was, this is the big rage on TikTok, is the Ordinary Peeling Solution Face Mask. I have already tried this. I made a TikTok of it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Follow me on TikTok. I'm linked down in the description box. Um, you're only supposed to use this about twice a week and you're not to use it more than 10 minutes. I'm used to the tingly, burny face masks. I've used multiple kinds, so this one was no different that way. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. Like I said, I've only used it once, so I can let you know after I try it a few more times. So like I said, um, the one thing we ordered from Amazon are little totes that are up in Kenzie's room. I don't think I ordered anything other than the other two items I have here, but I could be wrong. Who knows? So the first thing I want to show you is the butter flavored coconut oil we cook with this. Thank you, Remy, for showing me this, another YouTuber. I mean, I learned so much from YouTubers. This stuff is amazing. It's better than using butter. It tastes amazing. Um, this is a different brand than what I've gotten before, but we were running low, and this one was a little bit cheaper than the other one, so I figured we would give it a try. Um, it's literally the same. I think he said that it has less fat in this one, which is always good. But yeah really really good and awesome to cook with the last thing I ordered from Amazon were shoes because we go walking at least twice a week and I just found out that you should update your shoes your walking shoes if you're using them regular regularly every three months I've had the same shoes for almost three years so I can tell they're starting to wear on me because I do wear them a lot. So I needed some new walking shoes. So I found these really cute New Balances. I love the neon yellow. There might be a theme of neon yellow here. And the pink. And I like black sneakers. So I'm excited to wear those. They're a size six and a half. I haven't actually tried them on yet, but I usually don't have too many problems fitting into sneakers. I want to do my BoxyCharm last so the neon yellow theme can live on a little bit. This is my YouTuber merch that I was super, super excited about. Um, I'm obsessed with Alicia Marie. She's really cool. I think we could be really good friends if I ever met her in person. So shout out Alicia Marie. I 
like feel like you and I are very similar and I think it's really awesome and your vlogs and videos just are such feel-good material and I love watching them so I had to order some merch from her and of course the so extra glossy in the neon yellow I do want to crop this one like hers but I want to order one of those fabric cutters and not try to butcher it with scissors because yeah we we don't like to do that I've done that way too many times and then for fall and things like that or cool nights I'm a hoodie fanatic and I had to order the so extra hoodie it says so extra on both sleeves and has her signature on the bottom which I think is super freaking cute like these are cute I'm a sucker for black clothing and black hoodies hoodies and it's actually like really soft on the inside so I'm really excited to wear this I'll have to order more merch in the future and probably the whole reason that most of you have come to watch this video is the whole boxy charm unboxing so let's just get right into that there was another kind of outrageously priced item in this box and it's the first one listed and I've actually been using this every day and they recommend you mix it with your moisturizer so that has been what I've been doing and it is the 111 skin neck y2 pollution defense booster it's like an anti-aging serum this retails for $135 and there are 0.68 fluid ounces in here it is like a thicker texture which I wasn't expecting but um I like it so far I'm not real sure what else to say about that um there was this which is something else I used today I didn't go real wild with my eyebrows I actually filled in the slit today I didn't do it it probably needs cut again anyway but um, this is a the hourglass pencil in the color dark brunette um, I have really dark eyebrows and like I said before I've been looking for a good eyebrow pencil to use I like it it has a different type of edge to it it is more of like a flat I don't know if you can tell but a flat edge instead of a round tip with like the pointed eyebrow end so it's kind of easier to use and stay within your eyebrow range drink water stay hydrated so um anyway the hourglass arch brow micro sculpting pencil like i said i really like it i like the tip on it it is in the color dark brunette so if you can see my eyebrows okay that's the color they are this is a 28 dollar item the next one oh is this actually which corey opened this to check it out and it's really pretty this is the Pure Cosmetics Festival 2.0 eyeshadow palette. This is probably the most excited I've been about an eyeshadow palette coming in this box. The first one was really neutral. This one has some really fun colors. This retails at $36. Have not tried this yet, but I am excited to try it. Um, then there are the Grace and Stella Anti-Wrinkle and Energizing Eye Masks. There are 12 pairs in here. Lydia, what are you... Oh, my animals are playing. Okay, so the, there are 12 in here and I like what it says. It's like an energy drink for your eyes. These retail at $21, which I don't think is a very bad price. I haven't used them yet. I'm excited to try them. Um, you leave them on for like 15 to 20 minutes and you don't have to actually rinse them, rinse it off afterwards. So, yeah, excited to try that. And the last thing in my box, which I managed to bury, is something else I'm really, really excited about. They're going at it again. My cat is under the couch and like smacking the dog should be recording that but anyway this is the deuce Dude, I don't even know how to douse dow douse fierce and fine graphic pen so this is a graphic eyeliner so it has the 
marker tip on it, which are always my favorite because that's the easiest ones to use to do winged liner. Haven't used this yet, I'm excited to try it. It is black, I believe, what color it is. I'm assuming it's black. And this retails at $21, so not too bad. Um, that's everything in my box and everything that I've ordered recently. Like I said in my post from my last video, I did do another Shein order. It is here. It showed up today. I'm not going to film that video today. That'll probably be my next video because there are some things in there for Ken's that I'm not real sure if I'll necessarily show you because... I won't try them on. Yeah, that'll probably be my next video. I'm also working on a fitness journey for my Chloe Ting intense core challenge that I'm on day 10 of. I just finished day 10 of today and I'm feeling it. I'm exhausted. I guess that's all for today. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends. And if you subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications so that you get notified every time that I upload a video. I will try to have everything linked in the description box below to the best of my abilities. Well, see you later.